Welcome reading one. You chose, thank you little leaf, air, imagination, air, imagination. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me get in there. Air, imagination. Wow, this is really, I love this card because there's so much going on. Do you see there's like a face here in the clouds and then like the weather vane is a witch and she's pointing west. So, um, and I'm feeling really strong west, not southwest, not north, not east, but like really strong west. Um, my whole body just got the chills. There's also um, a triple spiral down here. Uh, there's, I believe that's a sun. I don't have my glasses on. Then we've got the pentagram. And then we have the moon, the pentacle. I mean, it could be money too. I guess it's all in the way you look at it. But um, this card is really interesting to me right now because I feel like go wet. Go, um, I'm hearing carry on my away with sun. I'm feeling supernatural. That's so interesting because uh, yesterday I said, do you know what I wish I could do right now? Because I've just been so busy and I was just like, I just wish I had like a day where I had nothing to do. I know it's coming. And um, my husband was like, what? And I go, I just want to do a supernatural marathon. I'm like, that's what I want to do. I, I want to I want to lay it in bed and like watch a supernatural marathon and like, you know, or sit on the couch and have, you know, treats and my cozies. Um, so I'm feeling like for some of you guys, like you need that too. And if you've never seen Supernatural, there are 15 seasons. Get started. It's amazing. And it's really, really, really easy to watch a lot. I mean, I think one of the last seasons we watched... It might have been the last season or the season before, but we watched the whole thing in like two days. Like we did nothing. We barely, I think we slept like six hours and it was like, we woke up and I'm like, you want me to make breakfast and watch it? He's like, hell yeah. And like, we just like smoked weed and like watched it. It was amazing. And I've learned so much from it. Now over 15 seasons, it took me a long time to like really catch up and watch it. But, um, but for a while there, I felt like it was my homework. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to binge watch Supernatural. Or if you've seen it before, you know, ask Spirit. Like, I just heard season seven. Like, you know, maybe there's a season that, like, you really love or, like, there's a season they want you to look at. Um, you could always start in the middle, too. You know, like, maybe start at season seven. And if you're into it, you're like, oh, cool. I want to kind of see where this starts from the beginning. Because that's what happened with me. I kind of was thrown into it. And then I was like, well, now I kind of want to watch it from the beginning. And it was really cool to, you know, see. And also to watch the actors grow up on there. Interesting that we're going through that right now. Um, but maybe that's what they want you to do over this Scorpio moon, like over this season. You know, if you, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or, or in the Southern, you know. Because if you're still in, uh, uh, whether you're in fall or spring you know, fall, I know where I live, like it's really like it dropped really quickly. We had a beautiful, what they call a quote unquote Indian summer, but we, um, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to be racist. Is that racist? Cause I'm not trying to be, I am native American. I am Cherokee, but I don't feel like that is, I feel like I know what they're saying. Um, but if it is, please tell me if I am and correct me, I'm trying to learn. Um, you know, I, like I, I was born in, like I said in the beginning video, I was born in 71. So I don't think things are a certain way. And I always try to, you know, tread lightly, but even some of my friends will say to me, yeah, that is kind of, a, I'm like, really? I'm like, I don't feel like it is. I'm so sorry. You know? So it's always innocent. I, I promise you not malicious at all. I, and I'm open to education. Uh, but with that being said, you know, the weather changed so drastically from these beautiful 75 and sunny days, hadn't seen rain for months, uh, just glorious, 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 beautiful, beautiful, you know, colors to like um, freezing rain, you know, 30 degrees, like it's, yeah. So, um, and it could be some of you are like, I don't want to live in the West. I don't want to, you know, and if you don't, you know, that's fine. I mean, th what's interesting with this is right when I was thinking that I was going to say that I felt like they're like, then ask spirit to, you know, put you in the direction, right? Because that witch is only going West right now because um, that's the direction you know what I mean? Like that's the direction they're in, but see how they're, they're blowing air. Well, if you look at it coming out of their mouth, right, it's like they're, um, like, like sparkles, right? It's actually going this way. So the, 
if, if when that happens, the witch is going to actually start going more like south north. So maybe that's where some of you, you know, this is a mass reading. There's only three readings here. So you really have to use your intuition here and, and, you know, decide like which direction is it, you know? Ooh, look at that. I didn't even touch that. Uh, but air is also the air signs. So it could be you or someone or someones that you're dealing with. Um, we've got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are our air signs. So, and this could be a message for you, but the imagination is on the bottom. So it could always be that like, maybe like you're going like West, we, in you know, by Wizard of Oz standards, we think of West as like the wicked witch of the West, like that they're heading West, right? But they're in dark and spirits trying to turn them around to go either South or North. Maybe they're not, that maybe this is why this is darkened. I mean, today is the new moon, right? It's, it's very dark. It hasn't, you know. It's at the very beginning. So east and west are dark. So maybe things aren't going because you're using your imagination in the wrong way. You know, or maybe you're not using your imagination and spirit's trying to push you there. Because this this is one of those cards that like sometimes I see the face and sometimes I swear I don't see it at all. And I was going to put my glasses on and I heard, you know, you don't need to. And they didn't want me to read from the book today either. So let's leave that there and put a pin in it. And see if any other cards come out for you guys. I did pull some cards. Um, so let's see. Do we have any more cards for reading one? For the new moon and Scorpio energy. Also, before we pull a card, uh, they said that... Uh, the thing about Supernatural, why it's so awesome, is there's actually a lot of similarities about what's going on in the universe. And you can take that for what you will, but I just got the chills... You know, um, there, I had an, 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 that's a plane, but that freaked me out. I thought that was like, there's, um, there's a base around us, an air, air force base. It's actually in the sound, but the, when they take off, it's like, holy shit. It like goes above our house. It's funny when we lived at the other place, we had like helicopters and, and like, do, 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 do. And here it's like that. It doesn't last long, but it will kind of like, kind of like take you out of your socket. You know what I mean? So, but that's okay. It was there for a reason. Air, right? It's keeping that plane afloat above our heads. Um, but what they were saying with, what did you say, Spirit. Yeah, some of you are in a desperate need of course correct. And over this new moon and Scorpio cycle, over this Scorpio moon cycle, if you haven't been doing the 10-day challenge, I highly recommend you do it just because it's not just a spiritual reset, but each one, I feel like our, I feel like Spirit's giving us breadcrumbs in each episode of like what's leading up to it. And the main thing I'm getting is that they had me start living by the moon cycles at the beginning of this year and now 10 months of doing it and doing the readings on my channel like this have like changed me dramatically. And so starting today, they want you to start like focusing on the moon cycles and what the energy is. And if you're not sure, go back and watch. I literally have a playlist here um, for the 10 day challenge, but also a playlist uh, for my moon readings that are the moon readings that Spirit and I have put out together. And you can go through and look at them and be like, okay, what is, what's the new moon like? What's the, you know, uh, waxing crescent waxing, you know, and then we have the first quarter, then waxing gibbous, then full moon, then waning gibbous, then third quarter moon, and then, um, waning crescent. And then we start all over again. But with each moon cycle, it's, you know, we build up, we start in the darkness, basically, right? We start in the darkness <laughs> over here. We start in the darkness of the new moon, but then we gradually, gradually get to the you know, epicenter of the middle where it's illuminated and bright. But at the beginning, we're setting new intentions. And over this solar eclipse, it's a partial solar eclipse, but it doesn't matter. The energy still affects the whole planet. So um, it's really amplifying our wishes. It's like, what do you want? Where do you see yourself? And also be mindful of what you're saying. Earlier, someone like really got under my skin and I was really frustrated, super, super frustrated. And, um, and I just got this vibe from spirit. They're like, you've got to let it go. Like moving into this new moon cycle, you can't take that shit with you anymore. You can't be angry or get upset with people because they're not in the same place that you are. They're like, it's not fair to them. It's not fair to you. You were there before. So this is also a thing to you. Like, you know, 
we have to use our imaginations a little bit more than other people, don't we, right? In this group or as light workers, we have to be more imaginative with our thoughts, with our with everything. It's not just about creativity, imagination or or creating or bringing something into life. This new moon cycle, they want you to utilize the air energy to bring you there even though Scorpio is a flow, right? It's water. Um but there are three representations of Scorpio, and that is the scorpion itself. Then we have um, the eagle and the phoenix. So I, um, and I'll put it below, but one of my favorite, favorite meditation gurus is um, Crystal at the Psychic Soul. And I will put a link below in the description box for meditation, for their new moon meditation. It really helped me work out some stuff. Normally, I fall asleep. I, I don't really, like, I want to listen to her, but I, I just fall asleep. This one was different. I was really thinking and I was sorting shit out and it was late and I was like, okay. And the interesting thing was once it was over, then I fell asleep. But I felt like I really needed to be present and I needed to hear it and and I needed to work through. So whatever comes up for you during this meditation, and maybe you'll fall asleep. It's fine. Your subconscious, as she says, will do the work. But, um, you know, getting in touch with like finding out like what it is that you need to, you know, because the scorpion is like da 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 until you like upset them, freak them out, whatever. And their stinger comes out and it comes out of nowhere because that's their defense mechanism. And maybe that's the way you've been living. Maybe you're not a Scorpio. Maybe you're an air sign um, or maybe you're dealing with an air sign. And so at the beginning, you may be feeling this kind of like, hey, back off, back off, back off. You know, scorpions kind of start backing up like, hey, like, get the fuck away from me. I'm trying to like my stingers in the back. I don't want to hurt you, but I will fucking cut a bitch, you know. But then it's like then they evolve into the eagle. And and Crystal speaks of this. And it was like, wow, because having my moon in Scorpio, that's something I've spoke about a lot. Like, I remember the first time I found out that all three represented Scorpio. I'm like, that makes so much fucking sense because I've been like, the Scorpio, not so much. The Scorpion itself. I had friends who were Scorpios who I loved dearly and were amazing. But like the Scorpion to me was like scary and creepy and arachnid or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Is it an arachnid? Um, but the eagle, of course, was like beautiful and profound. And I didn't really see eagles where I lived growing up, you know. And then, um, but the phoenix, I constantly was like drawn to the phoenix rising out of the ashes, the metaphor of it. So when I found out that my moon was in Scorpio, I was like, that makes so much fucking sense. So it may even be for you to like really research who you are and find out where the Scorpio lies in your chart. Maybe it's in your imagination. So they want you to utilize the flowing energy of that. So error could apply to the eagle. So work with the eagle spirit medicine. Um, sometimes P spirit has me put in the description box below uh, all these little, you know, Easter eggs, as my birthday sister calls them. But sometimes they don't on these picker readings because... You know, it's like, that's for you to keep going and look up. When I do the mass readings, they'll have me do that. But for these, when they break it up into three readings, they don't always have me do that. If I remember, I will. If, I, if I'm called to, I will. And since there's the three representations of Scorpio, I most likely will. But if I don't, it's for you to look up on your own. And if you're not drawn to it, that's okay too. Your next card is... A lot going on in that one card, huh? Now I know why they didn't want me to get the book. Altar. Oh, dedication. So this is talking about having a dedication to your craft and also to your imagination. Because for some of you, if you're writers or performers or you're doing some type of artistic um, endeavor that you're using your imagination, I'm kind of getting this vibe from spirit that I feel like this wants to go down. Yeah, a little bit. You need to have a space a dedication space, an altar that you can look at all the time that inspires you. And if you are in a space, a home, whatever it is, where you are not allowed to do that, you are in the wrong home and you will not flourish there. You will not gain the perspective that you need to move forward. And look at this. Isn't it interesting? They could have had me, you know what I mean? This was the first card. And notice how the witch is flying away from their altar. And it's almost as if this is going to sound really deep, but this is the analogy they're giving me. So this is what I'm giving you. Okay. It's like saying when I was younger, when I 
started to understand World War II and Hitler and all that, I was like, oh my God. I'm like, well, we're German. I'm mostly German. On both sides of my family, three of my grandparents are have heavy German. So I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, do you think we have Nazis in our family? And my mom was like, we could, I mean, you know, who knows, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. We could have like distant relatives or whatever. And I, and I just remember like feeling, I just got the chills and I remember feeling like so sick to my stomach. I was like, that's fucked up. I'm like, that's really fucked up. Like, I don't want to be related to somebody that would do that to people just because of what they believed in or who they prayed to or, and I just, I, I didn't even want to tell people I was German. I took that very seriously for a long time. I hardly, my last name uh, was Wasilowski and it was Polish. So I just let people think I was Polish and, you know, I, it was fine. And where I grew up on the south, you know, side of Chicago, it was, you know, there was a lot of Polish people, Polish neighborhood, you know, my father like sold Pol Polish food and, uh, and all that. And, and so I just kind of aligned with that. But then as time went on, I was like, no, I'm, there's also beautiful Germans. Not all Germans, you know, did that. I mean, hello, there were German Jews. So, um, you know, spirits saying like turning away from your magic and your witchcraft and your altar is like turning away from your heritage. It's like saying that that's gross to you. Like, I don't want any part of it, but it is a part of you. And if you found yourself here today, you have a witch in your lineage. And witches are healers. They come from the angel realm. This is my truth. This is what I have been working with spirit for many, many moons now. That is the truth that I know of it. So, so if you are turning away from your magic and not building an altar to, you know, it's like, that's what this is, you know, uh, back here. Hold on. Let me back up a little bit. This here, chocolate, nuts. This is gifts to spirit. I threw some weed in there for today. This over here, I've got some chocolate and then I have some water in here for, you know, the Scorpio for the water energy. It's about honoring our ancestors and our heritage. And if you're here and you're watching this, you are a witch. And it's time to come out. It's time to come out of the broom closet, as they say, you know, and be proud. I lost my whole family. Was it hard? Fuck yeah. Do I miss them? All the time. Do I wish I could watch my great nieces and nephews and my nieces and nephews and my godchildren and my friends and my family grow old? Yeah. But I also cannot, I could not take any more of like what wasn't mine. So if you are turning away from your heritage, also the spider, uh, grandmother spider came in too. You know, I used to be terrified of, of spiders, but even spiders have, you know, shown me so much and they are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful web weavers. They bring us together. They connect us to our, our community, to our people. You know, the friends of the family we make for ourselves. It's the truth. And you may even connect with people. I had a lot of friends. I, I literally had a magnet of that that was given to me by another fellow powerful witch, right? But I, I can't tell people who they are or what they are. They have to find out on their own. And the same for you and your people. And I almost feel like this is causing like, um, like almost like there's like a barrier and spirits like it's time to break the barrier down. It's time to break the barrier down. I feel like you got one more card. Do we have one more card for one? Okay, so does, does this one? Let me see. Hold on. Do we want to pull any more cards for reading one? Do, are there any other ancestors or energies that want to speak with them today? Okay, this is going to be hard to hear, but you have to hear it. A lot a lot, a lot of healers, a lot of witches, angels, earth angels, dragons, unicorns, giants, elves, gnomes, fairies, were killed and murdered for their gifts of magic. And when they used Jesus on a cross to say he died for your sins, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? There are a, there were a lot of Jesuses. Jesus was a prophet, an archangel of love. 
came here to help people reconnect with their magic. But there were many other prophets throughout history, like the Leslie Jordans of the world, and you are one of them. And if you found yourself here, it doesn't matter on what capacity you bring that light to the world. You cannot bring that light and that healing and that magic to the world if you are hiding who you are and shaming who you are. You deserve better. Your ancestors deserve better. And I feel like for some of you, you know what this means. You know what that means. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't course correct yourself, I've been getting this message from Spirit a lot lately. They will course correct you because you came here to do something. You have a purpose. So your higher self will put you in a situation. And trust me when I tell you, there were many times looking back that I could have gone quietly, lovingly, and had an easier time. But no, I chose to go the hard way. Many times, you're not alone. And Spirit is saying, we are literally giving you the gift of not having to do it the hard way. So please, do it now. Be who you are, because we need you right fucking now. Right now. We love you so much. You are part of our family. You are part of this tribe. We will hold you and love you and support you. You are not alone, I promise you. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves and each other, and all of my information is in the description box below, and I'll see you then. Blessed be.